Hello and welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. Here I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour and show you around the place. I'm going to try this vlog style. See how well I do. Many of you have been waiting for an update on this greenhouse. My underground greenhouse. And I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. And what you'll find out is I've just been too busy to get a lot done. But I have vents in it now. It's looked, looking kind of clean in there. and. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like inside, a little bit of my success. Hopefully I'll do a little bit better about putting some stuff in there now that it's hot and I don't really need a greenhouse. Anyway, during the hot season is a good time to get started on something. Anytime's a good time to get started on something. All right, let's take a look. All right, you can see here on this side, I've installed a couple of good vents here. These are 30 inch vents. I've got the heat sensitive openers that uh, open and close it just with the heat that's inside, no electronic involved. Maybe somebody will ask me how to uh, determine what size you need. Well, to be honest with you, I googled it. <laughs> I wouldn't be an expert in calculating the size you need. And we might find out later that I didn't calculate it right. Basically what you need to determine is how much volume of air you have inside your greenhouse and how often you have to move it to maintain a certain temperature. Let's take a look around really quick. We have the kids toys here but uh, more importantly I have sloped the dirt around the outside. Get that water away. Here's my opening it hasn't changed much. You can see I've worked the dirt around here a little bit as well. It's hard to get stuff done on the inside when there's so much to do on the outside, right? Alright, if you can see in the shade, I've got that same sloping going on on the outside and I have one, two, three vents in the back. I chose these vents because I uh, liked the price point on them. They were a little cheaper and they would fit a box fan, so I'm trying the box fan thing. My initial experiment tells me that I might be pushing it with three box fans. I don't think they're going to push the air out fast enough to keep it cool enough in there to not bake my plants. Today it was 77 degrees ish outside and it was a hundred and so degrees inside at the hottest point of the day. That's still pretty hot especially for being 70 degrees outside. Well here in the back you can see I've worked up this dirt a little and made it a little more flush slopes pretty good down this hill here and you'll see I've got this pile of dirt here I left this open because I want to install an outside faucet over here uh, I wanted to install a frost free faucet say that five times fast frost free faucet frost, frost free faucet uh, somebody else do it five times anyway as soon as I have that installed I'll toss this dirt in here and smooth that out a little better all right another face shot Face shot. Hey, before I forget about it, I am going to be at the Mother Earth News Fair in Albany, Oregon. I'll be taking my camera with me and uh, taking what shots I can of the people and the awesome things that are there, and I'll be sending them on to you. Just a short little plug Mother Earth News Fair, Albany, Oregon, first part of June. I'm going to be there. Here you go, you get a look at it from all angles. It's kind of nice for something I've pieced together. All right, guys, before we go inside, I've got to turn off the sprinkler, and turning off a sprinkler is going to show you some sneak peeks to the future. Over here, you have some tall green and some short green. The tall green is rye, and I am going to harvest this rye uh, and to hopefully do that all in a video so you can see it. The short green is wheat. And I might till this wheat under. Um, I planted it in a spot that really needs some amending. And I thought if it grew, it would grow. And if not, it would be green mulch for the next crop. And I'll try a better nutrition program for the soil so that I can grow things in the future. So I, I think I'm going to pass this one up, till it under, plant some other things, and rotate them through. And you can see next to... The rye, I have these really green rows of weeds interspersed 
with those weeds are mangles. I'm going to try to do some stuff in the future with mangles and feeding mangles to animals and feeding mangles to me too. Anyway, those are some things that we can look forward to in the future. Right, I'm supposed to be doing this vlog style, so I've got to get my face in here. Here's my face. There's the cool stuff. I'm pretty excited about all of this. I hope you are too. All right, let's go inside. Slow turn around. We're going to go in there. Let's go take a look. Well guys, it's kind of bright in here. All right, let's get my face out of the shot. Here's the inside, you can see my fans are turning. You can see my pond. Hasn't evaporated much since the last time you saw it. Things are clean and empty in here until you see the couple of the things that aren't so empty. My pump is running in the background there. It was running that sprinkler outside. Here are the vents on this side and my door wide open to cool things down because my vents and my fans aren't quite enough. You can see here are my automatic vent movers. Tell you a little secret that I learned. Farm Tech, don't sue me. I bought these vents from Farm Tech, but the automatic vent openers, they wanted lots of money for. I found them on Amazon, the exact same ones, half price. So anybody buying this stuff, don't be afraid to check Amazon. They'd, Amazon didn't sell the big vent, but it did sell the automatic opener, half price. Save you half the money. I bought two for the price of one. Woohoo! Alright guys, I'll try to keep this video short, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below what you want to see. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see this greenhouse, and I haven't given you a lot of information. That's why I'm trying to give you this one today. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm here to help you guys out. Don't forget to click around and see what other things I have. Go ahead and take a look at my other videos. I'm improving every single time, so uh, disregard how poor I was in the past. Hey, something important to me, guys. A lot of you have been really active on my channel lately. I've had a lot of subscribers. I've had a lot of people comment. I want to thank you all very much for being part of this being part of Simple Ground with me. Just let me know what I can do for you. And, and thanks again, uh, it means a lot to me knowing that I'm worth subscribing to and I'm worth commenting on. Even if sometimes you think it's a little cheesy and you say that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen, I appreciate that too. Just keep that information coming in and I will try my best to make it real for you and do good things for you. Thanks again for watching my video. We'll see you next time.